All right, let's see what we've got here. I'm still working on that heavy cream, the loaf of bread. I've got just a few things in here. I'm chilling some water for later. I've got my uh, chicken patties, fritters right there. This side of the mini fridge is pretty full, but I did move the uh, milk products from the side door because one of our subscribers had reminded me that that's the warmest part of the refrigerator. I just have such little real estate in here, but I'm gonna do my best to try to keep the um, items up here instead of the door. We'll see how we do. Headed to the food pantry. Let's see what we can find this week. Come back to my living room for this week's food pantry haul. I already started unpacking it. <laughs> Moving on to the meats. We've got some ground beef right here, one pound. Under this lovely yellow towel, we have the score of the week, so please stay tuned. All right, let's take a look at the refrigerated items here. The uh, perishable items. First up, we've got these core bars. They came neatly packaged, so that was really nice. Then we've got some garden pasta salad, Mrs. Marshall's. Three little milks. And we've got three little salads as well. I'm super excited about making those salads. Pulled pork barbecue. We got the mini cheese filled cannolis. Lemon beet hummus. I've gotten this before from the food pantry. It's really good. Then we have another barbecue. This is Southern style pulled pork vinegar barbecue. And we've got this nice little container of grapes. Plus we got the shiitake mushrooms. They seem to last forever, so I'm gonna really try to stock up on those. We've got honey ham and Swiss on White House rolls. Then we've got this chunky guacamole. And please stay tuned for the score of the week coming up soon. All right, let's take a look at the non-perishable items. First up, we've got some salted jumbo roasted peanuts. We've got some Tazo tea. This is a glazed lemon loaf, it says herbal tea. Then we've got some quick cooking oats, chicken stock, two cans of green beans, Hanover black beans, and Dakota uh, great Northern Beans. These 100 calorie packs, that's really nice to have because everybody needs a little bug out bag or a little handbag that has snacks in it. You know, when you're going on a car trip, you just gotta, gotta think in a prepared way. And also we've got a little can of crushed pineapple and chicken of the sea tuna, tomato paste. And here's the overview right here. Oh, that's just my glass floater on the end. <laughs> it's been really hot and smoky where I am, so I'm trying to really hydrate. I'm moving on to the bathroom and kitchen supplies. We've got some generic head and shoulders dandruff shampoo. This was really nice. This is vitamin D drops. And we've got two rolls of the Amazon commercial toilet paper and a roll of paper towels. So this is really nice. I was putting my stuff back on the table, but I almost forgot to show you the countertop perishable item that I got. I got this half loaf of bread. All right, and here's the score of the week. Are you ready? Ta-da! Look at this. We've got wild caught golf shrimp. I hope this is still good. It looks good, but we're gonna find out. The question is, did it all fit? Let's find out. Look at this jam-packed mini fridge. Can you believe it? I was able to get two of the salads at the bottom. I took my big glass of water out. I've got my milks. I've got the grapes, the other salad right there. On the door, we've got the mushrooms. We've got the snack bars. Gosh, this thing is really packed. Look at that. I'm, I can't believe it all fit. This is a really great haul this week. I gotta take a water break. T6 carbohydrates per serving. Let's do the math. It says three servings, 
So that's 26 carbs times three servings, six, 12, 18, three, six, 78 for the loaf. Now eight slices, not including the tiny slice. That's gonna be eight goes into 78. I'm just going to round it up and say 10. Two and a half teaspoons of sugar per each slice. This is just helping me monitor my carbohydrate intake. That goes right in the middle so I don't miss it. Here's the leftover fritters with the uh, tartar sauce, the beet hummus, and the guacamole. And look what we found. Lunch time. Let me show you what I make out of this. This looks like it's in pretty good condition. I don't see any bad spots yet. I'm really surprised this was at the food pantry. Just a few less than perfect pieces of lettuce. Some leftover salad dressing from last week that seems fine. Not too much, not too little, just the right amount. These little rolls, I'm just going to take the rolls apart and add the meat and the cheese to the salad. try to measure this out. I'm just using the top that came with the grapes as my measuring cup. These grapes were rinsed off. Topping these up and adding them to the salad. Got about halfway to go. I do this and I took the bread off of the little sandwiches is because I much rather would enjoy the salad prepared this way with the meat and the cheese on top than as a little sandwich. And also, look at all of the bread I'm not eating. Because I'm saving these carbohydrates, I can have something that I really want, like one of those cannolis. That's how I do it. It's helping me and I'm able to achieve better health doing this. Just small changes make a big difference. I had one of the cannolis. These are fantastic. I have three left and I put it in a snack size bag and it has 13 carbohydrates each equivalent to about three teaspoons of sugar. Last of the fritters. I will miss this meal. This is one of the salad dressings that I saved. I'm gonna go ahead and have this. I think I'm just going to keep the salad in the container instead of dirtying up a dish. I think that'll, that'll work to eat right out of the container. Gotta have that pepper. Just a real quick lunch. I added the grapes, a couple spoonfuls of the garden pasta salad. I'm eating. I just sit on my sofa. <laughs> <laughs> I just eat like this. I don't have a traditional like dining room table. The store has been getting a lot of nice outdoor tables, like bistro style tables. So I think I'm gonna try to get one of those when it comes in over the summer months. And what's so great about the area I live in is people are always upgrading their belongings and getting the like newest, latest, and greatest stuff. And so people like me that love to go junking and go <laughs> going to the thrift stores really benefit from that. If you have a local thrift store in your area, I would really start shopping there because you can save a lot of money. Like it at all. <laughs> it's much better when the dishes are done. Well, the salad was great, but it didn't have a lot of protein in it. So I'm gonna take one of my little Mayola milks here. Look at that cute little cow, happy cows. And I'm gonna make a protein shake. I've had this stuff forever. I have just not gone through it quickly. So I'm, I'm glad it's getting to the bottom of the barrel because I'm gonna reuse this container. Right. Anybody else remember when all milk cartons came like this? 
you actually had to open it. <laughs> it didn't have no little fancy plastic ring. Good stuff. So this can of green beans, the Best Buy date, was in January. The can looks like it's in good condition, so I'm going to open this up and smell it. Smells like green beans. Drain some of this liquid off doing that so I don't forget to eat it. If I left it in the can, I might have just ended up throwing it out. <laughs> so now that I've got it in the container, I'll work on this tomorrow. And this is what I've got left in the mini fridge. I forgot to repackage those in um, a paper bag. It's mm. 10 o'clock. I'm getting ready for bed. Turn this up. Barbecue sandwich on that bread I got a couple food pantry trips ago. I kept it in the refrigerator, so it's been uh, still good, still lasting. Guacamole and the pasta salad. That's a cute little lunch plate. Okay, we got the last Bright Farms Harvest Crunch salad, the rest of the grapes. Let's turn this into a uh, good using this honey poppy seed that I got a few food pantry trips ago. Spoon so I can apply it to the salad. This is just one way I do it so that I don't overeat on salad dressing. I'm gonna add this to the salad. I'm just gonna chop this up. I find almonds are really hard if you have sensitive teeth to watch out for a nut like an almond because these can just be so brittle. Walnuts are a more forgiving, softer style of nut. adds a little extra something to your salad adding the chopped nuts on there and remember you don't have to use these snack packs as snacks you can use it for your salad think creatively about how to use something from the food pantry like this to make a larger meal a little quick thrift store break here they were five dollars 75 percent off Yellow was the color of the day, so they were $1.25. I'm going to get these washed up and show you what they look like. This is funny. The Y on Old Navy's peeling off. Nothing screams quality like peeling off labels. <laughs> All right, I got the pants on my little dryer rack. I air dry everything, and these should be dry probably in 24 hours. $1.25 from the thrift store. They fit. Lunchtime. All right, let's try to make something out of this. I'm gonna chop the onion. the mushrooms. I have nine shiitake mushrooms. Look, you can play tic-tac-toe with the mushrooms. Bring this off to the side. Olive oil, pepper, Get this opened up. Time to add the onions. I like a lot of onion. Oh yeah, this is really starting to cook up now. I'm to add the mushrooms. Just transferred it from this pan over to this cold pan so I can add the hamburger meat to the hot pan. Cook this up. I cook meat like this, I have to open up the door and the window because I don't have an air vent fan in the kitchen. 
We're gonna pepper this meat. Adding a little salt. Came from an actual uh, farm, so I don't know what the fat content's gonna be like. That's why I split this up into two separate pans, just so I can monitor that. Adding a little onion from the other pan onto this one. So far, I don't see a whole lot of fat coming off of this, so I'm gonna brown this up. And I went ahead and added the rest of the mushrooms and the onions in here. Hey, this is starting to smell pretty good. Go through the tomato products. I think I'm gonna use this one. Fire roasted diced tomatoes. Look at that beautiful red color. I love it. Did not use all of the beans. And that sure is pretty. I'm gonna put this on a low simmer. I lost my lid. I was like, where did I put this thing? How do I lose a lid in a tiny kitchen? Here to work on this. Ta-da, dishes are done, yay. Ooh, that looks good. This is our hamburger meat, mushroom, onion, green bean, fire roasted tomato soup. I guess that's what you'd call it. <laughs> If you made it this far to the end of the video, I thank you so much. This is going to feed me for at least four meals, maybe more. And let's see what we make next week. So please stay tuned. If you like this type of content, please like and subscribe. Have a great day. Bye-bye.